Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and become part of this channel and watch more videos. My name is Murega Kamanga. I do videos about traveling and immigration. So today's video is going to be very brief and short because I need to answer a question that uh, one of my followers, one of my subscribers asked. So I'm just going to be very brief and give an answer. I guess I've done some similar videos, but uh, this video is specifically to address this question that uh, one of my subscribers asked me so I have the honor to do the video for you. This person asked me a question if on how to go about it if you are marrying someone that is non-South African in South Africa. So this video is for, for people like that and for this person. So they want their civil wedding to happen in South Africa. When it, when it happened to South Africa then they can use a marriage certificate to apply for their visa in Europe. Uh, they didn't ex exactly specify which country, but I'm guessing it's uh, France or some French-speaking countries, which would be maybe Belgium or France. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just going to go through what you need. So first thing first, uh, the person, if you want to get married in South Africa to get a marriage certificate, the first thing that you need is the passport of that person. If they have a visa or any, as long as they are legally in South Africa, they can get married to you and how you can apply for your marriage certificate and then apply for the visa so they need to have a passport first and make sure their passport is valid and legally in south africa so the second thing that they need will be the letter of no impediment this letter is the letter that comes from their from this person's country or embassy that will show that he is not married in their country or has never been married in their country or if they are married or if they were married uh, div but divorced or widowed that letter will show the South African government that this person is not married and they can allow you to get married in South Africa. So when you go to home affairs, you'll need to do some interviews. But before they do the interview, they need to verify the visa or the legality of the foreign spouse in South Africa. So they need to check if this person is here in South Africa legally. So if they're not, you won't be able to get married. They can be arrested. But if they're legal in South Africa, they can, then you have to go through the interviews. So the interviews are very important because they want to make sure and see that you guys are in love not just because someone wants papers to go somewhere or to be in south africa what they want they want to make sure the love is real and the love is there so if the love is not there they will be able to find out those immigration officers are very well trained to see if the marriage is um, a marriage of convenience which will not be which will not last and um, they will allow that and they won't allow you to get married so make sure that you are in love questions that they will ask you are very simple questions where they will see if your love is genuine or it's fake so when the interviews are done and everything is done they will give you a go ahead to get married then they'll send you back to the office of the marriage officer and they'll give you a date or you will set yourself a date where you will go to the home affairs and uh, get married and then they will give you the date that you want to get married at the home affairs and then uh, you can go on that day and get married so they will give you a list of everything that you need with copies then they will copy there and help them so the day of getting married you will go into the office then they will do the vows and everything so that uh, you guys can be married they will ask if you've got a token like a ring or vows or whatever you need to say then you if it's a ring you give your wife a ring you give your husband a ring and then you guys are married once you're married you sign some papers that you need to sign and they give you some copies where you have to submit in your in this uh, person your in your, in your spouse's country the papers that you need to submit in your spouse's country and uh, legalize the marriage there as well so all these papers they will give you as well as your marriage certificates so the marriage certificates they come in there are two there's one the handwritten one which will be you will be using as the original and another one for the computerized which will come maybe i think in three days so you go back to the home affairs and you collect that it will be ready for you they'll print it for you then they'll give you a copy so once you get a copy you can now do whatever you need to do as um, as a husband and wife because now you are married you are a husband and your wife and then you can start doing your visa applications to go to the French country to any country that you would want because now you'll be considered as married as husband and wife 
So that was it for today guys, we'll see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed and you've seen this video be helpful to you, please consider subscribing and become part of this channel and you have more videos, more help in your travel, you ask any questions, we'll give you the answer, we'll do a research for you and then we'll present it to you. So, catch you in the next one.